Okay, so here is lesson two. If you did not watch lesson one, please go back and review that. That is where we cover holding the sticks in a matched grip. So lesson two, we're gonna talk about our first stroke, our first method of movement, and that is the rebound stroke, or it may also be called the free stroke. It's called a rebound stroke or a free stroke because you are allowing the stick to freely rebound. It has the freedom to bounce back up. Now, when you hit the drum, as you learn in physics, the motion that goes down has an opposite and equal reaction. So if I do this and let go, the stick is going to want to bounce back. You see that? So when we choke the stick like that, we're not allowing that energy to move the stick back up. When we do that, and if we want to do another stroke, we need to then go up and then back down, up and down. And that's two movements, and that can take a lot of time and a lot of energy, especially if you're wanting to play fast. If instead all you do is a down stroke and you allow that stick to bounce back up, you see that? Now I'm gonna wrap my fingers around and follow that stick. Notice, so here's again, without me touching it, it wants to bounce back up. So all I'm gonna do is get out of the way like that. Now, two things that I'm not doing. I'm not doing a raise. I'm not doing an up and down. I'm only doing a downstroke. I'm also not choking it and then physically bringing it back up. I have some students do this and then bring it back up. No. If you try to do this and the stick doesn't go back up, Hit it a little bit harder. Make it more of a snap. Notice it is only a down stroke. It is not up and down. So keep in mind, the stroke begins with the tip of the stick. It starts right here, and it ends in the same position. It is a down stroke only. So you want to be able to do that equally with both hands. If you are right-handed, chances are your left hand is weaker and might not be able to do that equally. So you want to work on your left hand as much as your right hand. So the way you practice these, so you want to practice at three different heights. You have this full height right there. You can say maybe it's 12 to 14 inches off of the drum. Again, notice there's no prep. There's no up and down, only down. The stick is doing the work coming back up. I am not pulling it back up. So you have full height. Then you have medium height right there. Notice I'm not doing this. If I do this, the stroke is technically starting up there. We want the stroke to start there. Notice the volume is a little bit softer. I'm not pulling the stick back up, it's bouncing. The third height is about an inch off the head. Again, notice I'm not doing this. Tiny strokes. So you have your three heights. You have small, this is going backwards from where we started. You have medium, and then you have full height. So these are strokes coming from George Lawrence Stone and some from Billy Gladstone technique. With this, the idea is you can control, if you can control the stick at these three heights, then you will be able to control your dynamics. So keep in mind dynamics, particularly loud dynamics, are not based on speed, velocity, or power, meaning loud does not mean hit it harder because something like that is gonna happen. Loud does not mean this. Loud simply means 
raise the stick. So if I'm playing soft and loud, instead of thinking harder, I just have to think higher sticks. Medium, soft. Crescendo, decrescendo. When you do this, your dynamic range is going to happen much smoother and your time is going to stay consistent. Too often drummers, when they get louder, they get faster. And oftentimes that's caused because they are hitting it harder or faster when they're louder, as opposed to So how can you practice this? The first thing you want to do is just spend a lot of time in front of a mirror, or you can record yourself on your phone or any other camera, and just practice diligently doing these strokes. And the points you want to look for is one, that the stroke begins and ends in the same spot, that it doesn't start here, or in there. Rebound stroke. Second is that it is a down stroke only. It is not prep. There's no prep. It's only down. Okay? One reason for that, if we are going up and down, that's a lot of work as opposed to down only. If I do down only and I allow that stick to bounce up, I'm only doing half the work as opposed to up, down, up, down. That's also a lot tighter. There's more tension in that. So first step, like I said, is just to practice diligently, making sure you're letting the stick rebound and not you pulling it back up. The other way is to start incorporating the first few pages of George Lawrence Stone's stick control. So here is a practice pattern that you can do. So for instance, if you look at the first column of the first page, there are two measures of rhythms of sticking patterns. Play each line twice and then do the same number of counts of eights in each hand. So the first number on stick control is right, left, right, left for two measures of eighth notes. So it would be like this. Two. Repeat. One. Two. Now I'm going to do eights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's number one. Then I go on to number two, which is Left, right, left, right. Repeat. Now I do eights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Three different heights to practice that. That was full height. Practice medium. So if I do number three, that's right, right, left, left. Repeat. Now eight. And so on and so on. And you also practice with the baby strokes. So if you went on to number four, that would be left, left, right, right. Repeat. Now we do eights. That's the beginning ways to practice this. So what you want to do is you want to do this slowly and methodically. If you jump into doing it too fast and you use bad, bad technique, then you aren't learning anything from this. Happy practicing. <laughs>